I am a Swiss painter, a watercolorist, and etcher. I am a German citizen. I was born in Munchenberstee near Bern, Germany, on December 18, 1879. <laughs> I moved to Munich in 1898, where I attended a private art school. In 1906, I married Lily Stumpfen and had a son one year after that named Felix. <laughs> after a trip to North Africa in 1914, I started painting my fully mature art style and declared myself possessed by color. I worked with oil paints, watercolor, ink, pastels, and etching, mixing different media in the same work. <laughs> I thought of Batkiss in Germany, the most advanced art school from 1920 to 1931. In 1935, I became a little sick, and my paintings became become changed, becoming more remote, larger, and more hyaluronic. I died on June 29, 1940. After my work, I influenced some 20th century artists. One of the ways I was influenced and inspired was by Cubism, an art style started by George Black Cube and Pablo Picasso. Cubism is a specific art style where the objects are abstract and you can see the piece of artwork in a lot of dimensions. When I went to Munich in 1898, I studied with Edwin Kerr, a landscape artist, and then attend for a little, and then attended an academy till 1901 with Franz von Stuck, a famous German painter. I like Paul Klee's art because I like how he makes most of his art into shapes, especially the selection of shapes. Also, I like the selection of color he used. Another of the things, what? Okay. <laughs> Another of the things that interests me is that how some of his work is, most of his work is not realistic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am impressed that Paul Klee can say in between the lines of very small triangles and rectangles. I like how most of his paintings are not all about the same thing. Those are some of the things that interest me. Okay, now you go to a good look at it. Okay. Now, now 